Hello and welcome back to yet another video. My name is Foss and I'm going to show you how to find Gyarados in the new Pokemon Snap DLC. The method I'm going to show you here is going through Research Level 2 on the Mighty Wide River during the daytime. You should be able to find Gyarados on Research Levels 2 or higher in this map. What you'll have to do is continue down the river and not a whole lot happens at the very beginning of this. There is of course some things you can watch out for, such as the Feraligator Surprise Shot. And then saving Psyduck from the Apom. But as you come over this first waterfall up here, you will have to hit the Crystal Blooms on the right side and the other one on the left side here. The one on the right side you really only have one chance to hit, so if you miss that, just restart the map. If you miss the one on the left side, you do have a second chance to hit it once you've reached the bottom of this waterfall. Once you've hit both of those, turn around and face forward until you see the Arbok sleeping on this branch. As you pass by the Arbok, scan and look towards the waterfall to your right. Behind this waterfall there is a crystal bloom here that you can hit with an Illumina Orb which will finally trigger that Gyarados encounter. If you've done this correctly you should see Gyarados pop up out of the water right in front of you. As you continue down the river, Quagsire will jump into the river and knock you onto the little piece of land. At this point there's not a whole lot to do but if you want to take some pictures of two cannon or if you want to hit the Tropius here with an Illumina Orb, it will fly up in the air and give you a nice 4 star photo of it. As we go around this bend, you'll see three beauty fly fly over the top of the rapids. It's at the bottom of these rapids where you'll see yet another crystal bloom that you'll have to hit. This is a crystal bloom that is surrounded by a multiple two cannon at some point. And if you light it up, then that's all you need to do. And then you'll just watch backwards and wait for all the magic to happen. As you go down this last waterfall here, just keep your eye at the very top with the camera zoomed in or zoomed out, it's up to you, and just wait for Gyarados to come over the waterfall. Snapping a photo of Gyarados mid-jump is going to get you that 4 star photo. As you near the end of the map here, you'll see the Gyarados still stick his head back up out of the water. Snapping any photo of Gyarados just chilling is going to get you that one star photo. Also just as a side note, if you want to play the melody player or a scan while Psyduck is nearby, Gyarados should toss it up in the air, giving you a nice four star photo of Psyduck. Hitting Gyarados with an Illumina Orb will cause it to jump up out of the water and roar, giving you the three star photo. Throw some fluff fruit at Gyarados and as it reacts to the fluff fruit, snap a picture for a nice two star photo. And that's really all that there is to finding Gyarados in the new Pokemon Snap DLC. If this video helped you out at all, please let me know in the comments below. Also remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. That's going to do for today's video, so like always, have a good night and I'll catch you on the next one.